Okay, so John and I are going to speak to these slides a little bit. Why should we upgrade? Well, the first thing you need to understand is the different support levels. So when you buy Oracle Database, a license for the Oracle Database, uh, you get a premier support contract. Uh, you've got to keep going at 22% of your purchase cost. So that gives you patches for error correction. The two big things it gives you, of course, is patches for error, error correction and certification of new releases of other software. So if you have to upgrade your Linux operating system to a new, new release or your Windows operating system, you want to know whether it's compliant with the release of the database you're running. And um, Oracle does certify that. You can see those certifications on the MOS or My Oracle Support website. Okay. So you really want to have a, a login for My Oracle Support. And when you log in, depending on what you're uh, requested, it looks like this. Don't want to let your support lapse. And extended support is when Oracle provides a little bit of an extra time window for error correction, including patches, security patches. And typically additional charges apply, although often they leave a little bit of a window where there is no extra charge for extended support. When extended support runs out, you get into something called sustaining support. Pardon, one further note on extended support. Again, you're paying 22% uh, to start, but you're going to have to pay extra for the extended support at some point. So then you get into sustaining support, which also costs extra money. You just get into a contract with Oracle. And they won't write new patches for you, so you can only get the existing patches. So in a sense, it's it's basically unsupported. So you're not going to get a lot of help. You can open a support request, tar, whatever you like to call it. Um, but if there's a bug, they're going to tell you upgrade. Now, if you find yourself in this situation, we encourage you to contact us for help. Quite often, uh, we might have seen a problem you're encountering and have a solution or a workaround for it. Um, and, you know, we really know our way around. Of course, we can't provide uh, content from uh, the MOS website if you're in sustaining, but uh, we, we often can find great ways to help you out. And John is an Oracle certified master, and there's not a lot of those guys who are really well educated on Oracle database and its features. Uh, so more than one time we have helped a customer out of a tight spot uh, when Oracle support was not helping. Not only have we been able to help people out with it in a tight spot, we've been able to do it really much faster than Oracle has, even if they're in Premier or extended support. Okay, so you have again three levels. You have Premier support, Extended support, which you're paying for extra. Premier support pays 22%, and you pay more for extended. Oops, and then you have sustaining support, existing patches only. So Oracle has this notion of the terminal release, and the terminal release is a release or a version of the database that will have long-term support, long-term as defined by Oracle. And others, other releases will have sustaining support only. So if you were on 11.203, you would have to be on sustaining support. 11.204 is the terminal release and that had long-term support. It's interesting here, you see on the last bullet, that Oracle 12C, it's really a family of Oracle databases, 
and the terminal release is 19C. So if Oracle has gone to using the year, the last two digits of the year, for their Oracle releases. So we had 18C, and 18C was actually part of the 12C family. It was uh, really part of 12-2. The 18C, as we'll see, all support ends in 2021. So these annual releases, as I said, um, 18C and 19C, and, and now 20 is out. 12-202 was marketed as Oracle 18C for the year 2018, and 12-203 uh, for last year was marketed as 19C. The release one of 12C is already in sustaining support. So um, that was quick, and that's sort of a you know a bummer. We really had to move fast um, from 11 to 12.1 to 12.2. So 12.1, 12.201, excuse me, and 02 support is ending very soon. In fact, next year is it. So 12201 and 12202, remember that 12202 was released as 18C. So if you're running on 18C, you're going to run out of support next year. So premier support until November 2020 for 12201. And for 18C or 12202, premier support to August of 20. 21. And, and, and the real thing to notice is that a big, a big thing to take away is that extended support will not be available for either release. So really asking you to move, Oracle is, from 12201 or 18C to 19 or 20. So premier support or normal day-to-day -day support is available to 2023 for 19C. So that's that's a really good reason to upgrade to 19C. And extended support is already announced will be available to March of 2016. So that's a good long run of support for 19C. And earlier database versions, you know, are, are already uh, costing money to get support for, um, you know, it's sustaining support for 10G, obviously. So as we said, that's sort of like a no support position. And the extended support, uh, pay for extended support, uh, is available to the end of this year for 11G. But if you're on 11G, the 12201 and 12202 really should consider moving up very soon. Now, there's a, a very good Oracle support document. The doc ID is listed here. Um, and I'll put the link to the document in chat for you. You will have to log into your Oracle support account to get at that document. But this doc document um, shows the release schedule of the current, current database releases. And it's uh, fairly frequently updated. And you, know, you should kind of keep it handy. And here's how the whole thing looks here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's see, here we go. Right. I'll give you the correct link. I'll give you the correct link in chat. And one of the most useful things about this Oracle Sport document is it has this great graphic here. And the graphic shows for each release from your support is in the black and whatever color that is, gold sort of shows you the waived fee extended support and then the red gets you into paid extended support and john will have to explain whatever this gray thing is because i have no idea but basically if you're on 11 g or 11 2 in 2021 it doesn't look good maybe it's some sort of sustaining support but got an idea what that gray is there john I think if you give them enough money, they'll write a patch for you. Wow. That's my interpretation of it. It could be wrong. Yeah. No, that's fair. Error correction with paid support. Just drop the word market driven. It makes more sense. So here we see uh, in, a, in a nice little convenient picture uh, what I was saying. So you can see that support is ending soon is is really what we're going when it's down to so i think we've convinced you that by the end of 2020 or 2021 if you are serious about having support you don't want to pay huge sums of extra money for it you really need to get to 19 c So before we turn to how, I would like to uh, ask you to consider using Skill Builders for database administration services. And you'll be hearing from John shortly about how to upgrade Apex Design, Oracle Apex Application Design and Development, led by Tyson Tugle and Gary Lawton. And Skill Builders Cloud, which runs on AWS, where we host your Oracle database and Apex applications. Well, those are our, our three of our major lines of business, and we hope that you will consider Skill Builders for any of those. Of course, training. All right. John, I hit that timing pretty well. I'm going to uh, pass the ball over to you.